Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, so, Jeremy, yes, how many flight skills per year? This brings up a question, Mike, uh, that I get often because yes. you and I talk to a lot of people uh, on the phone. And they're like, well, listen, if Scott, how many people are in each flight school? Well, 15 to 20. 15 to 20? Yeah. It's actually a good number, don't you think, Mike? It kind of raises the energy in the room. Everybody brings their own gifts to the table as you're going through this process. Yep. And, I thought uh, you said the gift. I could have swore you to say gift and not gifts. No, that's uh, that's your laggy internet or whatever it is. G-I-F-T-S, gifts to the table. My wife will bring the gifts to the table. She's like the well, gift queen. I thought it was kind of funny that you said that because I know she's an <laughs> expert at the gift. So I was like, is that, is he saying yeah. that on purpose? She's got your gifts. She's got one gift that's got like a million shares or something. It's craziness. It'd be nice if she got paid for the shares, but um, so anyway, fifteen to twenty people in each flight school. Like ten flight schools a year. You guys are saturating the market with land investors. Oh, it's impossible. There's too much land out there. I know. Uh, we talked lately. People have been talking about, um, you know, it seems like it's a little harder to buy properties. But, you know, you and I, Scott, were together, and we're going to release this video soon, the pivot video. Yes. I believe that, that you know, you have to sometimes take a different approach. And we did that. And um, um, on my end, we had, honestly, I don't think I told you, Scott, we're, we are close to probably 50 properties in intake right now. Wow. That's not, that's not a joke. And that's from a pivot and a lot of mailing. But that's the, you know, there's no shortage of land out there. I truly believe that sometimes we get in our own way, right? Where we, uh, you know, we get stuck in a way of thinking. And we talked about, you and I talked about this, the walls, right? And you come to these brick walls and one of them might be, oh, geez, there's no, uh, no property out there. There goes Scott. Didn't like what I was saying. I'm back. I'm just hot. kidding. It's really hot. No, the in brick here. walls come up. And <laughs> the brick walls come out, and it's like, uh, "Hey, um, I can't get a property, or I can't do this." Yes, you can. You just need to pivot, you know. And you know, you either go around that wall, over that wall, under that wall, or sometimes, what do we say? The wall just vanishes because somebody else gives you a different way of thinking. That's the power of mentorship. That's the power of our community, and you and you pivot. And all of a sudden, that problem isn't there anymore. So, no, we're not going to saturate the market. There's tons of land out there. Tons. You just have to yeah. go get it. And you have to have grit. Yeah. It's, I mean, um, it's, ma it's a massive, massive market. And I was always afraid, too, that we were going to run out of land. But every single year, Mike... Our business grows every single year. Yeah. Last year we had a record year. We had a record first quarter this year. There are more people land investing now than probably ever. But what, a couple thousand people in the United States and half of those are doing it seriously? How many realtors are there in Boston? Uh, yeah, right. I mean, if you look at it that way, and does that mean that... Uh, Another realtor could come to the table, or come to the into the environment tomorrow, and and become extremely successful. Of course not. It's always room for somebody who wants something. Yeah. Somebody who's willing to put in the time and effort, have the grit, the determination, uh, have the proper mindset. There is uh, nothing that's going to stop you if that's the case. And there's plenty of land for you out there. Yeah. Somebody asked me the other day, what. What makes the difference in this business for people who do take it to a high level? And I gave them a, a similar answer, but I would use the word consistency. Consistency is key. Focus is key. And mm -hmm. are you all right? Oh, I thought you were frozen there for a second. Um, no, I'm just listening. <laughs> um, you know, there's high performers in every group, right? No matter... No, I mean, on the soccer team growing up, in your high school class, going through college, in your profession, there's always these people at the top. There's these high performers, and uh, right. right? But what matters is consistency. If you guys can consistently commit to this business, in two to five years, your life 
will be completely different. Now, it might be two years for some, it might be five years for others. It's coming either way. It's coming either way. I, I love it. Talking to somebody your Tai Chi today, professor said that. Quote. Was it your Tai yeah, Chi guy? I was talking to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, how long is it going to take? Oh, that's too long. Well, that. Anything you want to do in life is going to take time, but that time is going to pass no matter what. Either you're going to accomplish what you want to do or you're not. So just yeah. make up your mind that you're going to do it. Awesome. 